did, did Wren try out and experiment sort of his idea at the Dome for St. Paul's at any of the city churches? I think he might have done at St. Stephen's Walbrook, is that right? Yes, um, uh, that's absolutely correct. But um, those of you who were here at um, my last lecture when I was talking about the architecture of medicine in London uh, will remember the Royal College of Surgeons building that was built by, um, by Hook. Um, and um, Hook designed this extraordinary uh, gatehouse, uh, which was crowned by a dome, which was actually in an anatomy theatre. And that, in fact, was the first, um, the, the first dome in London, um, uh, not, not at all built by Wren. But, of course, the dome uh, of St Paul's um, owed a great debt to um, the domes um, of, of Italy, the two domes that I showed you, in fact, um, because I think, as, as everybody knows, it's, it's actually a brick cone, with a, with a, with a, with a dome, dome over the top, it's a, it's a double skin, and that is the, the technique that was, um, what was perfected by the Italian Renaissance architects, which Wren um, basically took up and used. But the cathedral was not the first dome in the city and not the first dome in England, in fact. In fact, there were other domes elsewhere um, in, in England um, before the Dome of St. Paul's was completed. It just took quite a long time to get to the top of the building. 